When are you gonna grow a pair of stable? Call me. I thought you were going to say something. Nope. I looked up. It looked as if you were going to say something to me, that's all. <laughs> no. I looked up and you just happened to be there. Amy! Hiya. Oh, you've got the wedding invite then. Look, I know it's a bit short notice, but Lee insisted we crack on, so... Is Lee about? I was looking for him myself, actually. Look, it would mean a lot to me. Well, to us. You there. I love that invite is addressed to me, Steve, and the kids. Well, I don't think you want to come on your own. You haven't got some on, have you? No. Great. And about the other stuff, you know, with you and Lee. I know you two were well. You wouldn't be the first girl to misread the signs, but. Look, I'll mark you down as coming, yeah? And I'll make sure you get a ringside seat at the reception. Thanks. Look, I need the delivery. I got a packed restaurant tonight. You will get your money. Is there anything I can do? You got 57 mates who want to eat out seven nights a week? Well, I'll lend you some money. <laughs> you haven't got that kind of cash. And believe me, I've seen your accounts. A couple of quiet weeks, you'll be in the same situation as me. I'll be doing all right, Tony. Burying your head in the sand doesn't make the problem go away, Don. Oh, give me a break, Tony. I'm just trying to help you. I oh, know, look. I should have told you about it. It's not your problem. Oh, don't be like There's that. There's nothing you can do, so just leave it, yeah? Why? Because I'm your useless younger brother. Because I need about ten grand, all right? Look, I haven't got time for this. What the hell am I doing here? Eating your dinner. I'm a bit luxy, yeah. I had a good feed in a while, so tuck in while you've got a chance. Yeah, well, you could have thrown me out. Hmm. You could have walked. Yeah, well, I did think about it. Same here. But I figured food were already cooked and I wasn't about to chuck it in, Ben. What's your excuse? Merce, I live in a bed and breakfast. The clue's in the title. They don't do dinner. You <laughs> idiot. It's only me. <gasps> what are you doing? Nothing. I just saw you coming here. Are you all right? Why are you so jumping? Because someone just grabbed me from behind after being to the cash machine. Sorry. You were uh, you coming for a bit of money or something then? The student alone has just hit my account. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. You, you're going on a spending spray, then? That's something like that. You're looking for someone? Yes and no. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, what's this? An invitation to a wedding. Ooh. To your wedding. I didn't realise Leon was sending these out. Is that a problem? Do you, do you not want me there? Of course I do. It's, assuming that there is going to be a wedding, yeah. Well, Leanne seemed pretty certain it was happening. In fact, she said you were the one pushing for it. Is she? she she's the one that's organising it all. And you're just going along with it. What do you think she do? I think you should be talking to your fiancé, not me. I'm asking your opinion as a friend. So... <clears throat> Is it definitely over between you and Lindsay? She wants nothing to do with me. Now let's call it a night while we're ahead. Eh? You're a right piece of work, Mercedes. Why? Because everything has to be done by your rules, doesn't it? I want to talk about this, I don't want to talk about that. Eat your dinner, no leave, no stay and finish your wine, actually just go. I have spent so long trying to work out exactly what it is that you want from me. And you know what? You haven't got a clue, have you? Merce Take a look around you, would you? What do you see? No. Exactly. I wish I could do that. Just block out everything that I don't want to deal with. God knows I've tried long and hard enough. All right, so if I'm such a bad person, then why are you here? Perfect timing. Yeah, well, thanks for the dinner.
What are you doing? Calling my mum. Don't know how to deal with babies. <laughs> Where's Angel? Carmel's room. You okay? Yeah, sorry, just uh, lost my own thoughts there. Random stupid ones. Oh, it's good to see you back, man. Yeah, it feels right. Thanks. It, you know what happened with you and Tony? Um, when he left you stranded in Laos? Not I believe him when he said he left you a note and a pile of money. Yeah, he wouldn't have left you penniless. It's not his thing. Tony's nearly broke, man. It's about to go under. Are you serious? Yeah, could be a matter of weeks. No, whatever you think about him, right, he doesn't deserve this. Poor Tony. Yeah, poor Tony. You know, I, I offered to help him, right? He virtually laughed at me. The trouble is, he never takes me seriously when I talk about stuff like this. Never has done. Yeah, well, that's Tony for you. Yeah, well, I'm going to show him, right? I'm going to prove him wrong. Then how are you going to do that? Oh, well, don't you start. I right, get alone or something. Sometimes you need to let people make their own mistakes. I'll do anything to help him. Yeah, there's been times in the past where I should have turned my back on him, but I can't. My brother, I'd do anything for him. Yeah, all right, I might be stupid, naive maybe, but it is what it is. I love him. Oh, where have you been? Look, if we're going to have the wedding we both won, then you need to pull together. Look, you can take over ringing around the florists. Florists? Why? Well, I need a bouquet. Would the ceremony go ahead without them? They're just trimmings. Along with ushers, page boys, bridesmaids and wedding invitations. Hey, where'd you get that? Well, you sent it to Amy, Steve and the kids. How many people have you invited? <sighs> we don't need loads of guests. Well, you're right. All we really need is each other. Love you, Lee. But we're soulmates. I knew that the moment I met you. I mean, can you really imagine life without me? I need to go. Mm, where? Out. Oh. Come back. We've still got loads to do. Lee. Yeah, I think she's settled down a bit again. Have they left her a bottle or anything just in case she wakes? Or? There you go. You're kidding, aren't you? What? No matter if you just boil the kettle. Yeah, I'm making some coffee. Right, well then get a bowl and put the water in a bowl and then put the bottle in the hot water. How big's bowl got up there? Do you know what? Just forget about it. Here. Take over. What? Just take it for two seconds, yeah? However, watch ahead. That's a good idea. Get out of the way. I'll do it. <coughs> Mercy, you can sense that you're nervous. Would you just relax a bit, jiggle her about, talk to her? What about? I, I don't know. Stay away from politics, though, yeah? It's okay. We're we'll getting food soon. <laughs> Ding -ding <style. laughs> I right, should get a photo of this. Don't you dare. Why are you scared of? The people might think you actually have a maternal side, huh? <laughs> you crack on with that bottle, you. What? Oh. Oh, come on, it's just a short-term loan for cash flow reasons. Why should I lend you money? I think of it as a business opportunity. I'm not into lending business. Yeah, but if you took 15% of, say, six months... Oh, that's not my style. Do I look like the type of person who enjoys cashing in on other people's... Desperation? I'm not desperate. You're begging me for money. No, I'm asking you for a loan. Well, either way, looks pathetic, doesn't it? All right. Could have just said no. That's not my style either, mate. Let yourself out. See ya.
I hear you're looking for some money. 